so I got a follow up question. Um, and I'm not totally sure, but this is obviously in the, in, the, in, the, in the act of transparency. So let's take Victoria Gray. Um, her having a successful, successful, uh, her body successfully adapting this. What is the data that somebody like Robert or Calvin A um, can take away or Solomon can take away? Because when I think about that, Solomon, Calvin A, Keith, uh, Robert, they all have different DNA structures than the person that was successful with this trial or this therapy. Same thing with Ama. How, how, what's, what does, how does that get thought of? Because if, let's just say me and Jason. So Jason is six foot three and I'm six feet. You know, my DNA, my DNA structure is different from his, which allowed him the opportunity possibly to have a, a, a growth spurt compared to mine. I can listen to his success story all the time, but I look at him as somebody that has a different genetic makeup than me. So how could I honestly believe, even though that's a success story, how could I feel confident that this could possibly be something for me? And I think that's what what, Keith, what, what uh, Robert is talking about at the same time is, just, you know, Victoria Gray is great. I understand that, but I may be a different case than her. And that's what's always going to be the variable. How do I get past that mentally so that I can be, I can, sacrifice right so yeah so I, I it's important to understand the goal of the the genetic engineering process is we're only uh uh they're only basically engineering um a couple of nucleotides just in that beta globin gene so only that affects the blood so that's the only thing that they're that's the only thing that's they're targeting so it shouldn't have an effect in any of the other parts of your gene that controls your growth, that controls uh, uh, weight, whatever. You know what I mean? That's the goal. The goal is to target that specific mutation. And so far, like I said, those patients, uh, people living with thalassemia and uh, and uh, some with sickle cell disease that got the uh, therapy, the HBF therapy, um, in 2019, none of them have still uh, any, they don't have any hospitalizations, um, right? So, but yeah, so with time, do, does something happen? We don't know. We, yeah, we need, we need time for that. That's, that's just, that's just the genetic, uh, when you're messing with genes, that's just, just what it is. But what's important is the, to negate the false claims, right? In any disease, like, for example, like the virus, right? Does it, uh, the coronavirus, does the vaccine affect your DNA? No, it does not affect your DNA, okay? It's an mRNA vaccine. So uh, it doesn't affect your, your DNA. Uh, it makes a protein that fights the actual virus. So things that are just not correct about um, a disease, you just, they need to be shot down by people who are, uh, who are educating the people because that's what, you know, this is what can cause, look, look at our unvaccination rate, right? Because of these, uh, especially in, uh, you know, more Republican uh, states, right? Like in Missouri, Missouri, Kansas and Missouri, they're only 50, 45%, 50% vaccinated. So we're having high growth spurts of the Delta variant spreading, right? Um, but yeah, so I, I mean, I hope that answered the question. But yeah, with any genetic altercation, right? We need we need time to see if anything is going to manifest. Um, but so far, the data says no in in in, in animal trials and uh, clinical trials. But yeah, ten years ten years is a longitudinal study. So let's give it a couple more years and see. But um, it's important, I think, to uh, people who are curious to to track the um, to get in touch with the people right, who are in these clinical trials, how they feel about it. Um, it'd be great if like, if one of us can have an interview with them or, or something, you know, just to, just to get it out to the sickle cell community more. So people are aware of, of the, uh, the perspectives of the people, you know, who are actually have the disease.